Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we will be covering ArcGIS Pro Supervised Classification. In this video, I will start with what is classification, what is supervised classification, and what is the object-based classification type. Then finally, I will show you how to perform a supervised classification. Image classification refers to the task of assigning classes to all the pixels in the image. These classes belong to a land use classification system that is called schema. In this video, we will discuss the object-based supervised classification process. In the classification process, when the user decides which class category should be assigned to the pixels, then it's called supervised classification. In object-based approach, Classification is performed on localized neighborhoods of pixels. In the classification wizard, we will start with supervised classification method, object-based classification type. Next, we will select a classification schema that we have created in a previous exercise. Now we will be selecting our segmented image and the training classes that we also had created with our schema previously. If you do not have this segmented image and the training samples or your own classification schema, then in the next step, first you will have to perform the segmentation. In this next training samples manager window, if you do not have your schema, you will be modifying or creating your own schema and then you will create your training samples for each of these classes. As you can see, our schema contains two broad classes, pervious and impervious. Building, paved surface and roads belong to this impervious parent class and vegetation, grassy vegetation and water body belongs to the pervious parent class. In the next step, we will go with the support vector machine as it can handle larger images and is less susceptible to discrepancies in your training samples. Next, I will change this 500 to 0 for maximum number of samples per class. Changing this number to 0 ensures that all training samples will be used. As we click Run, it generates a preview of your classified image. If you are not satisfied, then go back and modify the parameters or else go to the next page and click Run. Here, in the Merge Classes page, we will merge our subclasses into our parent classes. For each class, you can select a parent class. We will select impervious for building, paved services and roads. And then we will select pervious for vegetation, grassy vegetation and the water body. This is your final classification image. If we compare this detailed classified image with our original image, you will see there are few discrepancies. For example, in this area, these two, we know from local knowledge that they are playgrounds, but they have been classified as paved services and buildings. But broadly, the classifier has done a okay job. It has picked up the correct water bodies, the buildings, and although some of the building and the paved surfaces got mixed up, in the final image, most of the impervious surfaces has been grouped together and all the pervious ones have been grouped together as well. To recap, we discussed what is supervised classification and how to perform it. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.